<laughs> you got my eye. Cheers. Cheers. To new beginnings on this eclipse. And to making our way to Scandaval. We are almost there. We are. All, we're so close. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Oh my God. This is my new favorite drink. Oh my God. Okay, guys. Uh, we're drinking these new drinks today. It's not an Olipop, unfortunately. Holy shit. But my friend Chris sent me this box of like exotic snacks for my birthday from Bussin Snacks, some just like online shop, some really cool snacks though. And it also came with drinks and I'm drinking a passion fruit Fanta. And this is a seven up. It's called a cocktail exotique, but it's not, it's not alcohol. At least I don't think. I don't, I doubt it. No. I think cocktail is just like, like a, like juice cocktail. It's like a mix. It's just like a mix. It looks like it's pineapple, lemon, and then something else. Maybe guava. Maybe that's a guava. Try this, dude. Dude. This is I so good. I want this. I think you'll like mine, too. Uh, yours is a little too sweet for me. I also don't like pineapple. Yeah. That's just like my it's good. It's good, huh? Yeah. These cans are so cute, too. This is so good. So shout out, Chris. Does he listen still? Do you know? Sometimes he'll throw it on his commute. Hey, Chris, if you're listening, I love you. Hi, love you. Love you. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Okay, guys, big up today. Honestly, not really. It's just a big day, though. Today's Monday, if you're listening, Monday, the day this drops. And today's the eclipse. Yep. So. The first total eclipse since 2017. We're getting it here on the East Coast. We are. We're not hitting totality but in we have New York City. 89.6% totality, which is fucking a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. It's. I'm so excited, yeah, but also not nervous, more so eager. I'm just seeing a lot of shit online, a lot of shit, a lot of shit online about how um, like important this eclipse is. Yeah, astrologically, astrology, 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 right? Acrology, acrylic nails. <laughs> um, how significant it is energy wise, and I think we've been feeling it and anticipating it already. Yeah, and I'm just eager to get to the other side. Get through it, yeah, yeah. I feel that big time. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I um, as you guys know, <laughs> even with the last episode, like have been struggling, and I am trying to be gentle with myself. And maybe some of you guys relate to. I know a lot of you guys related on the last episode too, which I want to say thank you for all the support on in the comments and everything. But yeah, the energy, the collective right now is really fucking intense. And it it is now that I'm kind of taking that into account, I am able to be a little bit more compassionate with myself and just realize that like, I mean, A, I'm not alone, but B, like there is a lot of energy going on, really, really big shift and more so accepting it and like taking it with um, open arms and not resisting it, which is very much what we are advised to do, especially Mercury's in retrograde too. So like not going, not trying to sink your claws even deeper than you already do with your control issues. And by you, I mean me, or if you relate to what I just said, but I do have control issues and just like not trying to control the narrative, not trying to control the uncomfortable feeling that is, the collective right now and really just like letting it take its course, knowing that it's going to pass, knowing that it's temporary. And yeah, that's just kind of been helping ride its wave. Yeah, exactly. I'm seeing a lot (laughs) of shit specifically about Aries. I actually sent, maybe I'll play it. Um, I saw this one last night and I wanted to send it to you, but I thought you might be um, asleep. Okay. She just showed me the TikTok. I didn't want to play it on the audio because I, I've had I've been copywritten before on my vlogs when oh, I played TikToks. Okay, so it's just not worth it. Um, it was pretty much saying that as of April eighth, um, it said Aries, Libra, Scorpio. Car- she called them the cardinal signs. Uh, Capricorn, yeah, just a few of them. Um, yeah, highly affected by this eclipse and April eighth is the start of the rest of these signs. Um. I, I don't want to say the rest of our lives because that sounds almost like downhill. But she like, said like a rebirth, a rebirth and stepping into your highest power. Right. Which highest energy. I really hope is happening. Yeah. No, it's it's nice to hear. And it, Aries is kind of on some crazy shit right now. Yeah. And I even in the comments of or some of the comments I saw in the last video, people saying like, I'm an Aries too. this birthday was crazy. Da, 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 da. Like 
there really Something's is in something the air. going on. Yeah. It's um it's icky cuz like as an Aries, we we are such like action-based people. Um I mean, we're the first sign of the zodiac. There's a lot of natural leadership that comes with it and if you're an Aries, you relate like we kind of have this like need to like always be, you know, one step ahead cuz we're on top of our shit. Right now, it's really challenging that energy. So it's completely putting me into this, like, what feels like an out of control mindset, which is so fucking uncomfortable to be in. Yeah. But I am trying to, like, trust that I need to be in this energy for, you for, know, right. this next kind for of a reason. And it's like, maybe this is the reason behind it. Right. Like, I was and crying it, about, right. Like, sissy wawa. And it's, well, and you were finding, I think you were trying to find a reason that, like focused on you as if you there was a part of you that was the reason but like there could also be a reason an external reason for things that happen and to acknowledge that as well like right there's other thing there's so many factors that go into our mindset and our our like where we're at in life and what's next for us and it's not always about us it doesn't always have to be introspective it could also be yep. about i mean we're going through a lot of shifts even in our careers right now yes. and like there's just so much so much good happening but it's still a change nonetheless of you know kind of an engine that we've been running for the past four years yeah and like maybe that's kind of setting me off my axis a little bit and like there's so much that goes into it there right and there has just been a lot of I mean there will always be change change is inevitable but I all think at once it's very concentrated right now right yeah and I you know I'm I'm really trying to embrace this time as like a lesson maybe that sounds a little too deep but I just want to encourage myself and anybody else relating to like really learn from this discomfort mm -hmm. and turn it into like a tool and how to like handle my discomfort next time I don't know yeah I feel like I'm speaking in circles here but yeah it's a it's been it's been intense and I I saw I'm definitely on like all over um astrology tiktok and a, a lot of people saying like they've been having crazy migraines which mm. I've had a migraine for the what feels like the past like month to be honest with you guys head buzzing terrible sleep weird dreams and I I feel like sure I always have weird dreams but like they are a little different right now and like even yeah. the things that I'm thinking about in my alone time the places my mind is going in my alone time is so different than what it usually is like really yeah I'm in this like I don't know it, it's, I can't really explain it without giving like all my details, but I'm not going to sit here and do that. Right. Um, yeah. I don't know. I am excited for these next few months. It's, it, you know, with the Aries new moon, I get it's, I guess it's supposed to be like the beginning of a really good year. And, and that's so special that it's really lining up with your birthday and a time where you're already feeling like you need new energy. Yeah. And you're coming out of something that you want to wash away. And that's literally what a, that's like what a solar eclipse is. Yeah. Like that's like what this energy is, is to, it's a rebirth. It's a new beginning, letting go of not only like, sure, the things that don't serve you. Cause I feel like that's a practice that like I like to adapt daily. Right. You know, kind of always check in with yourself and get rid of the things that don't serve you. But like it's on such a bigger level. It's literally like old things that you will never go back to you. Right. Or sorry. You will never go back to type shit. Yeah. You're releasing things that just no longer serve they, you. They won't work for me ever again. No. And it's acknowledging that because there's so, like, there's so many times where we go through things and you find the pattern, but then you kind of expect it to happen again. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Like you nail that. That's it. And that's how like I feel often and sometimes I'm like is that me not trusting myself that I'm growing from this right but that I think I'm just gonna fall back into that well I think it's just part of the process like a pattern is exactly what it is it's a pattern for a reason because it's something that we end up putting ourselves in time after time and there's a factor that we need to acknowledge to actually move on from it and I think like this this rebirth for you you know now everything that has gone on. I know on everything. Everything that has gone <laughs> Yes. <laughs> the Aries in you. Yeah, right. You know now that everything that has gone on in your past 
you have such a clear like vision of it that it's no longer like coming with you into your future. It's no longer, it's no longer a part of your journey. And I think even if we like sat down in 2020 after your last like big breakup and another big turning point for you, there was, there were still things that you were carrying with you into your, you know, late late twenties and even, but like, especially before therapy. Yeah. But now you like, you really do have such a clear vision of what you're going through. And I, I have a lot of faith that you aren't bringing that energy forward. (sighs) And I think that's the internal struggle that you feel too, because whether it's good or bad, you're still going through grief of getting rid of things. Yep, Exactly. Yeah. And something with kind of learning from really, traumatic things or like certain patterns that you might repeat. Maybe you guys relate to this too. Letting go, you would think letting go of traumatic things would be easy because it hurt you and you could shed it, right? But I think obviously the brain is like kind of reluctant to change sometimes because it doesn't necessarily know right from wrong. It just knows repetition. And if you're so used to living a certain way or having a certain mindset or surrounding yourself by certain people or situations or lovers as much as like your psyche knows this is something you don't want to do again it's comfort for your brain and you're exactly like you there was even a time in my life and I know you'll remember this too where like when I first started therapy and really really started unpacking my childhood I I felt really uncomfortable shedding certain parts because I was like it felt like my identity Mm. in like a very wicked dark way. It felt like, but I don't know why I don't know who I am without these things. Right. And like, that's also a really icky place to be. So I don't know, maybe some of you guys relate to that too. It's, it's hard to even shed the worst parts of your past. Cause like we do find comfort in repetition and that's what, that's why the, like the toxic cycle continues and continues and it's comfortable it is that's why it's hard to get out of relationships like that like yeah. there's I mean people stay in those things for reasons just because it's I mean yeah so many reasons but just thinking it's not even it's not always about like oh I think it's just what I deserve like no it, no like your body yeah. is is wired to accept this and um like believe that this is what is meant for you in this moment this is it Yeah. Like there, there's no, there's nothing else to dream about right now. Like this is, that's crazy. No no more of that. Yeah. So come Monday, that's literally out the window. We're going to be so great. I'm going to be so great. I'm actually so excited. It's so uh, like we're saying it's today. We want to possibly go to the park. I don't know. I shouldn't have said that word out loud. Oh, she's sleeping. She's so slumped. Oh my God. Sometimes (laughs) when she sleeps really deep, she looks like she's not breathing. The other night, Alex and I went and saw a movie. First of all, we saw the new Ghostbusters Ghostbusters movie. Haven't seen the first two. We saw the one that's out now. Uh, Yeah, of like that. Of the series. That series. I've seen only the original, like the first one. That's it. So like we're definitely not like big fans over here. We're like, oh, let's just go. We just like wanted the movie experience. It, it was, was so good. No, in the middle of the movie, I leaned over to Kristen and I was like, wait, why is this so good? It was incredible. This movie is so great. And there were so many different like storylines. There's so and, many like, levels to it. Yes. So many levels. I loved the actors. It was hilarious. Uh-huh. But it was also like witchy. Like it yeah, was. Yeah, it was so well written. Oh, it was so good. So you guys should go see that. Yeah, go see Ghostbusters. But we. <laughs> <laughs> that day we, we had a few kind of weird synchronicities we were recording that day for patreon right and um something got brought up we were talking about how i have this fear that one day everybody around me is gonna be on some like truman show shit like hey Kristen, you're actually crazy and we're all like paid to be around you right so i have that fear and you were like i had i had said that it's not crazy you're like what if they're the crazy ones. Right, right. And how did your dad get brought up though? Okay, so so I said that Truman Show thing to Alex and uh, she was like, you're not crazy. I was like, well, what if you're crazy? So you don't think I'm crazy because you're also crazy. <laughs> and then Alex is like, well, no. Like what if uh, the people who call people crazy, the crazy are actually, people are actually the normal ones and the people that accuse crazy on people 
are the crazy people. I hope you guys are following. I think you get it. It's very lighthearted. And I was like, you know what? That actually makes sense because growing up, everybody called my biological father crazy. But now that I've gotten to know him, I think Maybe everybody else, else is fucking crazy. crazy. And my dad was the normal one and got out. So, and then, at, so at the end of the episode, your phone dinged and you said, oh, speak of the devil. And I said, oh my God, your dad texted you. Oh yeah. And it then, was my mom. right. It was, her, <laughs> it was her mom. And we're in the movie and you get a phone call from your dad and you don't talk to your dad. Yeah. Like let's back up the context there. Like I haven't spoke to my dad since uh my uncle's wedding so that was september i think yeah. or october or something over six months like we speak here and there maybe like right. a handful of times a year and he called in the middle of the movie on the day that we like referenced him and he also doesn't come up in conversation often no. like it was i was also thinking about him the night before because i was talking to my sister about like our birth stories, like what we were, not what we remember, obviously, but what we know of <laughs> our birth stories from right. like what our parents have told us. And so obviously my dad was brought up. So yeah, I didn't answer the call or anything. We're like in the middle of the movie. And then one of the characters names is Trevor, which is my dad's name. And then there was another weird part where they, they like went down to like the basement or some like library or something. And if you watched, uh, I think it's like two vlogs ago, one of my recent vlogs, I just got this like vintage letterbox drawer that I hung like flat on my wall to display all my miniatures. And literally this whole wall in this room on this set of, in the movie, all letterbox Covered on the wall drawers. Like that's not a common, no, thing. it's not just like way to like hold items shelf. and they were, you're right. They were in a library. So like there was like a lot of them. Yeah. It was just so weird. Yeah. And we both looked at each other. We we're like, what? Like what, are, what are the odds? And yeah, it was just one of those days yeah. where we kept like making connections. Yeah. And then I called my dad back, obviously, and I stayed on the phone with my dad for over two hours and it was a really good conversation. It, it honestly always is. Yeah. Which like the more I get to know him, the more I realize I'm so much like him and it's just like really cool because yeah. like I just didn't I didn't know there's there's a lot of parts of myself that I know are like my mom and then there's parts of myself that obviously you can have parts of yourself that are just true to you as an individual as a new human regardless of your parents but you guys know what I mean like yeah you've always like I just didn't know what this other side of me right was. and you've always expressed at least in your like adulthood that you wanted to get to know this other half of you and yeah. I'm just so glad that you're not only doing it, but it's like itching something in your brain that's it's it's like hitting. Yeah. And like he's like you're meeting someone and getting to know him, but then also at the same time getting to know a side of you and it's making connections for you. It's super validating. Yeah. It's so validating because like there's a lot of parts of me that like I know my mom can't relate to. I can talk to my sister about and she'll relate to, but like there's still a lot of differences in my sister and I too. But he's like that one missing puzzle piece where I'm like, oh, right. You get it. Yeah. We had that conversation, too. And he was like, no, I mean, I've always known that we were so much alike. We just never had the opportunity to get to know each other. Get to know each other. So it's cool. It's definitely it's not one of those things where like he's back in my life now. He's my dad again. Like, I think you guys are like, I think we're just two adults that like exactly have a very strong soul tie clearly. yeah I mean, and he's he's giving you like a new perspective on your family and he's so honest with me yeah he's not over here trying to play dad and be like oh like keep it peachy keen like my family that, that was out the window <laughs> fucking 1995 like there's nothing peachy keen about my family but he's like he's so honest with me and like yeah i mean he's told me some fucking <laughs> shit <laughs> Could you imagine if I just aired it out? Aired everything out about your about the Macatees. <laughs> no, that's that's for that's for another here. day. It's another episode. That's for Patreon. <laughs> I mean, no, no, no. I will never. I will never. No. But it's just it's crazy. I mean, every family's got their juice. But yeah. I mean, this one's a little crazy, goody. <laughs> Nuts. I think it's something with that generation though, because I often think like. I mean, maybe it's just like the people that we surround ourselves with, but yeah. I can't imagine like you or me or anyone in our friend group going through the things that like our parents went through. Yeah. The world was so different. Yeah. And I think we're just really breaking the generational 
dirtiness. There, I think, I think they all have lead poisoning. <laughs> no, literally, because <laughs> they, they didn't know they all have asbestos and fucking yes. lead poisoning, <laughs> and literally smoked cigarettes out the womb. Yes, like, ugh, that's so whatever. Crazy. Can't can't live with them. Can't live without them. <laughs> right. <laughs> I guess they're why we're here. But yeah, that generation's nuts and you know what our kids will say that about us too like that's just the generational pattern too right i don't think there's any younger generation that's like a hundred percent like built like for success that and like in agreement with the generation above them right like every generation's gonna sig on the older one because right i hope we're always progressing i mean i don't know that's another i topic. hope i don't know i don't Sometimes think i feel like we're backtracking yeah, actually i think in a lot of ways we are yeah so actually right now we are backtracking yes, a lot here we go maybe monday we we'll, will we'll reverse Re, uno, <laughs> we'll uno reverse on monday yeah like uh we we're talking about cern Have you, like we talked about cern a little bit yeah, yeah, yeah cern is just like i don't know enough about it to like fully speak on it yeah but we won't go too into I've it i've literally just seen like some tiktoks and it's um this like it's in switzerland it's like this 17 mile long tube thing where they're trying to throw like atoms and molecules at each other to like recreate um what some people are suspecting a, a, like a black hole or a parallel universe another dimension read about it again i don't know shit about nothing but what if that's all cern is it's just like they're reverse. they're doing it yeah i went to their website and their like missions everything's super um like general on their website and their mission yeah. statement is literally just to like research science like what does that even mean exactly and I don't know. It just feels, it feels like a, a sixth grade science project. That's actually one day we're going to be like, Oh my God, CERN discovered this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I, again, I don't know enough about it. Maybe yeah. they have discovered some good shit. I don't know. Right. I see. I'm on the side where I see a lot of conspiracy about it and how right. it's like they're turning CERN on or like switching it or something like that. They do specific but, studies surrounding um, like astrological events. I don't know if they're studying the astral astrological events like directly but it's very they're it's studying, coincidental that they do it like they're doing it on monday today when we're having an eclipse and right. like the last time they did this i think was like on like a lunar eclipse we had like they well they study energy specifically right so obviously like big events that affect energy but not everybody believes in that you right. know like that's easy for you and us and anybody listening to like connect to the dots but like yeah generally like our government and modern science, they're not taking at least out openly. They're not right. admitting to taking astrology, astrology into account at all. Yeah. But like, I think a lot of these big people in the world are, but they just don't talk about it. Yeah. It's hush. Know, it's hush. It feels hush hush. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it all is. Everything's hush hush. Am I even Kristen? Are you even Alex? Probably not. What if, what if our parents like got our names mixed up? What if up we or got, something? what if like, and that's why we can't remember a lot of our childhood is because, um, like in elementary school, we got switched. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, what if, what if we got switched in the hospital? Did you ever watch that, that show, um, ABC Family Show, Switch, Switch at, at Birth? Birth? I think I have. I definitely really know, like, I know of the show. But it was really yeah. good. Was it twins? It was so crazy. No. I'm thinking the parent trap. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. This is a similar vibe, right? Um, no. <laughs> no. It's know. two different families and there's a daughter in each of the families who like look nothing like the rest of the oh. family. And I think they end up I don't quote me because I haven't watched it in literally probably fifteen years. But I think they both end up at the same school and they're like, wait, I look like your family. And then like, you look like my family. And like Whoa. they become friends, but they, I don't think they find out their whole story until like later in this in the show. Should we start it? That sounds kind of good. No, we're in Vanderpump right now. Yeah. We, we need to stay focused. <laughs> we have a we lot to get done. so many episodes last night. Yeah. Should we talk about the elephant in the room? What is it? All those oh, elephants. Oh my God. There's hella <laughs> elephants in here, guys. Alex went through her closet. We're doing some spring cleaning in the house. Yeah, it's, I'm kind of taking advantage of this new energy coming in. And I'm, as you guys know, I'm a very visual person. So when I feel like I need some space to free up, I like physically have to 
free up space. You, like yeah. I have to organize. I have to get rid of things. So I just did probably my biggest ever closet clean out. Mm-hmm. Longest yeah boy ever. This is going to be my longest yeah boy ever. <laughs> um, we probably have, that's probably eight garbage bags. At least. Full of clothes that I'm, there's a, a free donation pickup that I found in New York that goes and delivers to shelters and I'm getting rid of so much clothes you guys like I sat we sat there I actually um I mean we got through five episodes so that's five hours yeah (laughs) yeah I measure time in Vanderpump episodes yes oh my god you're so right Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was probably five hours that I stood at my closet I went through all my drawers and I ended I got rid of things you know how when you do a closet clean out you save the things that you feel like oh but Okay, now I know it's here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to wear it I'm going to wear it again. Or there's always the items that are like, oh, but this person got this for me. Like, I'm just going to keep it sentimental. I got rid of all of those items. If it didn't fit me and if it wasn't my style, I, it's in these garbage bags right here. I think there's maybe two items that I actually kept. The jacket from us. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I think that I might think be that it. that actually might be it. Yeah. I oh, kept- I think there was one pair of shoes. You're like, I'm going to give one more. Like one more chance. Oh, my pointed toes? Yeah, yeah. Those are cute. I'm They're glad cute, I kept but I, them. Watch, you're not going to wear them. No, I'll wear them. I'll wear them. You know what? I'm going to we'll wear see. them tomorrow night on my date. Okay, we'll do. I will. I promise. <laughs> I'm just trying to I challenge will. you to like hype you up to like, <laughs> I prove will. me wrong. I will. I will. Just double dog dare me and I'll do it. I double dog <laughs> dare you to wear those shoes. <laughs> no, I will. With the jacket that you see. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, like you would have worn those two things together that in like twenty. I actually can think of a time that I wore I think I can too. It was a... um. It was a cold night. <laughs> no, it was a, uh, and like this will make sense with the outfit. It was a, a concert at the Greek in Berkeley. <laughs> that makes so much sense. The jacket she's referring to, it's this like really cool. It's a free people jacket. Free people like moto jacket, very much like a 2016 jacket that it's Alex's, but like I would take all the time. We would flop back and forth for years. Even when you lived in LA. Like, yeah, I'd have it. And then when I'd come back to the Bay, like I'd give it back. Like it, yep. it was a sisterhood of the traveling jacket. And we both loved the jacket so much that we were like, let's start getting patches and put patches all over the jacket. So we, we have like a Coachella 2018 patch and like all these patches from all these places we traveled, whatever. Half of them aren't even no I are not. we started collecting patches but they're just like they're stuffed in the, into the pocket, pocket of the jacket and she pulled it out and she's like do we get rid of it and for a sec like i feel like we were about to yeah and then we, we were. were like no our kids will love this like and if it's the one thing that i pass on to my kids it's that is like very little space exactly it's one jacket and for the amount of clothes like i wish you guys could see this pile it's, it's actually fucking crazy that we are donating like i feel like this was a success story. Absolutely. <laughs> also, I, I'm going to do my room next week. That's that's the next project. Because yeah. we have to morally support our, each other through this. Right. We, we can't do it at the same time. No. Because if I start, I, I this happens every time I do clean outs. I look at the pile and I'm like halfway through and I'm like, fuck, I can't finish. And I like freeze yeah. and I just get overwhelmed. So I'm going to need Alex's moral support. Something that I deal with whenever I do this is like, yes, I get rid of things I don't wear, but I do like keeping things for my future children yeah i the think about it all the time i wish my mom kept half the shit i have pictures of her in in the 80s exactly i wish she kept that they were it was so cool but now being you know what her age was then she was probably just doing the same thing like yeah mm-hmm. i didn't have room for it she didn't, like she didn't and need like, to worry about it she didn't have kids yet like whatever right so i don't know that's where i go back and forth like and i think I don't want to get rid of everything. At least for me, I have, I've created like a threshold of the jacket is the one thing where it's, it's free people. Like it's okay quality and it won't last forever, but I have things in my closet that were passed down to me and they've held up because they are such good quality. Right. And the clothes that we buy these days, like we have to throw them out in two to three years because they're such they bad quality. Fall apart. Yeah. They're, they fall apart. That's where I do 
kind of want to start buying higher quality clothes. Yeah. They're, they are just so expensive They're just, though. It's But it's an investment piece exactly. because if you're buying, that's the thing though. That's fast fashion. It's fast fashion. And if you buy the higher quality items, you just have to make sure that you're buying items that you're going to wear year, like 10 years down the line. Because right. if you're buying for trends now, you're not, yeah. it was expensive, but you're not going to wear it, it like in eight months. years. Yeah. You yeah. know? That is the hard part of just being so trendy. Right. It's just so hard. To you're be such so you're such a fashionista. I just can't help it. Right. I'm yeah. literally wearing the most basic outfit right now. But we do thrift a lot. Oh yeah. And a lot half of my, of my clo- yeah, a ho- half of my closet, especially my jackets and the things that like I will end up passing down mm-hmm. are thrifted because mm-hmm. again, they're great quality. I'll actually last. Yeah. We gotta do mine next. So I I did my some of my jackets this morning and I came across my denim jacket that I wore literally every day from 2016 to like 2018 it's my I feel weird painted denim jacket that our friend Jess Carbo painted for me it's I just I can't get that's one of those things I just cannot get rid of that it's so representative of like a very specific time like it catapulted you into your universe now yes and it's the last bit of representation that you have to like prove of it yes almost yes I am the whole internet, but <laughs> well, but like that'll eventually go away. I know. I I was watching uh, Claudia Phineas's girl Saluski Sul- Sul- and she was talking about how she she has like a big hard drive that she backs up all of her vlogs on because she's should. like one day like when I've YouTube's always gone, said, why do you delete your shit? Now I feel like I need to go through every video and save, save and them. save it to a drive. Yeah, why not? It probably will take you a day. It's like a hundred. I don't I th- I think I have like you should. 200 the digital or footprint is getting too expansive. It's going to eventually yeah. go away. But yeah. There's no YouTube way. won't be around forever. Like I'm not going to be able to look no. look at this archive forever. Fuck. Yeah, you should. I'll Remember the away. first time you delete you were editing in front of me and you like deleted your raw files and I was like, "What are you doing?" Yeah. No, the second I post something, it's gone. It's, I don't have the files no more. That's like, so nuts to me. Get it 1 terabyte. I yeah. still have FITM projects. I have FITM projects, but they're all in my Google Drive. Oh, like I need download to download like, those too. Like, oh, this sounds so exhausting. Yeah. Do you think there's a service I could get to uh, have someone do this? Yeah, you could pay me. Yeah? Sure. Can I make you a nice dinner? Or do you want money? I want money. How much? I could go by the hour maybe. That's crazy because what if it takes 10 hours and you're asking for like <laughs> two fifty an hour? I'm not doing too bit. I was going to say 13 bucks an hour. It's less than minimum wage. You get a family, friends and family yeah. discount. Yeah. So, so that, yeah. So like if I spend like four or five hours on it, I at least get like a hundred bucks. Yeah. Right. No. No. Fifty dollars. <laughs> Math. Seventy dollars. I don't know. I'll get something. Let uh, me let me figure out my rate and I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> I need to also look at how like hard. It's probably not hard to do, but like the process of doing it. Because if it's not bad, what if I break it out and do like. Cause I don't need to do it all in one day. No. Like we're fine for a few years. Right. Let's hope. All right. Like what if I did like 10 a day or something yeah. and I could just break out this project. I, I think, should. I think you really should. And I think you would really be happy that you did it. Cause I have documented so much of my life that like, I'm going to want to yeah. watch it forever. Exactly. We were watching old vlogs from Auckland the other day. You guys. Oh, old, um, vlogmas. Oh, that was such a good vlogmas. It was. It was a good vlogmas. The, uh, the two years I did it at Auckland were They're so good. And we watched the old Monty's episode. Oh, yeah. We went to Monty's Burgers. Burgers and There's something Silver special about the time where it was me, you, and Leanna filming for, like, for your channel. I loved it. And it was so fun. And, like, it really brought out something special in our friendship mm-hmm. that just, like... I felt like we had a little show. Exactly. And I think we would do great on a show. I I've always thought that. <laughs> I think maybe I I don't really care to act. No, but I think we could write a really good fucking show. Yeah, 100%. if we wrote a show, every friend ever has this conversation. By the way, but I will say, and I, I will never, never right. <laughs> I will never forget this. We went on um a a date, if you will. Well, you were on the date, but I, it yeah. it, ended up, <laughs> it ended up being like a big group thing because yeah. like. I was flirting with his friend or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, we went on like a group hangout, whatever. This God, was he like was so fine. This was like three years ago, uh, when we still lived in LA, and we were all just like kicking it at his house. We were playing cards. I, um, I had just got my car. Yes, 
Yeah. And we were uh, sitting around the table and we were all just like shooting the shit. And the guy that you were on the date with like sat back and was like, I don't say this this often, but I really feel like you guys can get in a room with producers and like write a show. Like you guys should start writing. And I like (laughs) I trust him. He's a little cuckoo, but I think. But (laughs) but like in a. In like in a, a good, good way. cuckoo way, like genius way. Yes, in a yes. genius way. He's super, like quirky. But if you fully want to like judge him aesthetically, he does not look like he'd be quirky. No, like he he's a big kid. Yeah, but like in the best way. Yeah, he's a good guy. The one that got away. No, I don't think he's the one that got away. <laughs> but I think ooh, he's the one he's, that got. Away. Have we ever even talked about him? I don't think so. We didn't have the podcast yet. No. I was talking to him. He helped us with the podcast. He helped us. He is the. He's the backbone of. (laughs) No, he is literally like he came up with the first overarching theme of the first set that we ever had. Yes. Matched with him on Raya. Can I say what he does for work? Yeah, we he's won't a, say his name or nothing. He's a famous DJ. Yeah, and like that's fine to say because like there's so there's many. There's so many. And now it's not fucking Diplo or Dylan Francis. No. Like it's not. He's a good one. He's a like a normal person. Yeah. Sorry, that sounded mean. Diplo's fucking weird. I think Dylan Francis is cool though. Anyway, so we matched and he lived in Vegas. So like we actually never met. Yeah. And, and it was during COVID. Yeah, it was during COVID and everything. But we we matched and we just like stayed in contact and we we spoke every day we'd like facetime like he was just like we, it was cool he like, felt like he became a friend very quickly he was yeah. really cool yeah it was before we even recorded the first episode like it was oh my god yeah and once he was like starting to get to know our personalities that's when he was like when we were brainstorming like what to do with the set he's like well what if you guys did something like what like how did the way you guys bonded in the beginning of your friendship in the early 2000s was in your kid bedroom. And we were like, oh my God. He was like, what if you like recreated your kid bedroom? And that's literally what the first set was. Yeah, that's so crazy. Wow. He's the one that got away. Yeah, he was the one that got away. He just kind of like stopped talking to us. (laughs) I still wonder what happened. I think think life, it was at the very end of the pandemic. So- Life, people started going back to their like normal like That's work life true. and I even feel like a lot of our other friends that we were tight with during COVID were still like cool with but yeah once Everyone life went back to normal people went you're back not to able work to and FaceTime every day like you used to and right like, yeah just time I think he kind different. of uh, like wrapped it up into like a it was just like a FaceTime fling yep yeah something to do when I couldn't go to my residency yeah and, uh vegas vegas i couldn't think literally yeah he was a good guy he was a really good guy um also another big thing that we haven't talked about the earthquake that hit new york at 10 30 a.m on friday was it uh yeah Yeah, yesterday friday what the fuck you guys we were new york too like we thought we escaped the wrath of earthquakes right like i i remember i mean born and raised in california like every day I was scared the big one was going to happen. Like I constantly lived in a small state of fear that the big one is going to happen. It's been shoved down our throats since and you, forever. Yeah, you learn about it. it uh, earthquake, kindergarten, earthquake preschool. Earthquake drills at school. Yes, like, constantly. So when we moved here, I I did gradually notice that like fear go yeah. away. You just don't think about it. Not at all. And we were sitting here. You were sitting at this table. I was in the kitchen making tea. Yeah. And the it started shaking but I will say, so we're, we have construction going on on our building. So there was a split second where Me I was too. like, is like something just was, shaking? Yeah. Cause they're doing facade work. So I was like, maybe they're just like drilling, drilling. the wall right now, but it was I, so consistent it, it was, and it was a really long time. And I looked up here and this was swaying. Oh, the I don't mic. know if, yeah, if, I don't know if you saw it, but everything was like the building was, it was loud shaking too. and loud. Yep. And it was constant. Like and every earthquake ever (laughs) like we're explaining every earthquake it was it was quiet when it was happening and all i hear is Kristen go well i hate that (laughs) and i was like i mean yeah i was like i kind of feel like that was an earthquake i was like but i was questioning myself because and then i even said i was like does new york get earthquakes and i was like yeah we i mean we've had two since we've moved here but i didn't feel those two the two we had one in the one in queens and one in the bronx 
in the past two years, but we didn't feel there, them down in Manhattan. Yeah. And then you Googled it and you were like, oh, fuck. I Googled it and immediately all, all over Twitter yep. or X or whatever, um, like constant tweets. Was there just an earthquake in New York? Yep. Did New York just have an earthquake? I love an how earthquake quickly people in New hop York. on it. I was already seeing memes. I saw a meme of it was like a picture of uh, like a set of table and chairs in a backyard and one chair was like toppled <laughs> over and it was hashtag NYC, hashtag earthquake, we will rebuild. And then the one where <laughs> it's someone from their apartment and they zoom on the street and there's a, a orange cone like tipped over. tipped over and it's like <laughs> New York strong. New York <laughs> strong, we will rebuild. I oh love the God. memes that come out with this shit. It's My cousin texted me. She just graduated high school. She goes, hey, Alex, are you okay? I heard there was an earthquake in New York. I got so many texts. Yeah. Like my, my grandpa, boss texted me. Oh, I bet. I was going to ask you about that. Yeah. My, gran my grandpa texted me. So that just tells me, because he doesn't have social media, like it was on like Cron news. 4 in the Bay Area. Like it was, I guess it was all over the news. All over the news. And I, I mean, so, it was pretty fucking crazy that we had one. It was. my, But my cousin goes... Um, just making sure because I think the New Yorkers were overreacting about it <laughs> and that was another thing we were laughing about is like as Californians our reaction here I'm just making tea hate that Alex yeah. is just clack clack I think that was an earthquake we'll just keep working yeah yeah but we were like yo if that was our reaction imagine being a born and raised New Yorker like never felt never it never felt that and the epicenter was in Jersey so thinking think about like anybody out there who's like never even right had to worry about it earthquakes without they're context are so scary. they're so scary that was the first one my boyfriend's ever felt in his whole life that's crazy nuts I, I we've felt so many it's just crazy to think about i will never forget the one in oh probably seventh grade i was in my Ooh. it was at night and it was like a seven yeah it was like a six or it seven was, it was big. it was high so this one that was it in was New 11 York a couple days ago was um a 4.8 which yeah. is still pretty uh, hot that was and it was shaking. in jersey for us to feel it yeah. from i guess New the jersey. whole like, east coast fucking felt it yeah but we we felt some crazy ones yeah the one in seventh or eighth grade that you're talking about it created a crack in our wall yeah and it's still there in my parents apartment i think we had some like paintings fall yeah that one was like we came downstairs like it was that was like a really scary one there was another one when I oh. got my appendix removed and I was recovering. Imagine you went during that surgery. Week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, I was recovering. Ooh, okay. I have day. another, I have another little, um, I have a fun fact. Do you want to hear it? Sure. Okay. You know why gowns in the, um, ER and surg surgery, surgery like rooms? The back? No, they're blue and or green. I don't know why. Because apparently, well, this isn't apparent, but this is something I saw. On TikTok. Allegedly. Allegedly. Um, we only have three cones in our eyes to like intake color and it's a blue one and a red one and a green one. Right. Okay. And I just feel like I've seen that little diagram. Yeah. And you you get something called cone fatigue. So if you look at the same color too much, it starts to like mesh together. Or, but please don't quote me. I saw this one TikTok, but it just seems so interesting. <laughs> I read this article. So when you get, and like, I know cone fatigue is real. When yeah. you look at one color too much. So when you're looking in the surgery room at a body and blood and organs it's all one color it's mostly red oh. you need to be able to like look up and like clear your cone like reset yeah reset your cone fatigue Ew. and everything else that your gloves the everything like else is blue so you could you don't like start to like not know, know what the fuck you're doing yeah i actually didn't want to know that oh i'm and sorry I, you should have known that i didn't want to know that <laughs> oh i feel like it's a fun fact that well, we now should I'm know scared i'm gonna get cone fatigue good thing you're not a surgeon is that the only time you can get it no but you don't look at the same color they these are people who look at bodies for 12 hour surgeries mm -hmm. i know but I you know like we are constantly looking at multiple colors at a time okay <laughs> um I, I, don't let me research it i don't think you <laughs> I think you'll be fine, even if you do. Hey, Doc. I think I'm <laughs> no, I need to like not worry about that. Yeah, I actually Please didn't don't. know that fun fact though. Crazy, right? I hope it's real. I don't know. That's fucking weird. <laughs> I was recovering. I, it was the day after my surgery, so I was just being like monitored or whatever. And my mom was sleeping in like the little chair next to me, and it was a four point three. I Whoa. believe. And we just woke up. We're like, "Whoa, did you feel that?" Yeah. yeah. And just go back to bed. Every Californian ever. Yeah. Just like, 
Oh yeah, you just acknowledge except for it the and one. Move on. Remember the one when you lived um, on Tyrone Ooh. in the pool. Okay, and I think it was Fourth of and July. You right? had yeah, it, it was, was like around that weekend. weekend. And you had it, yeah, because I was out of town for Fourth of July, and, and you called me. I was me. home alone because I think Scott was on like tour or tour. something, and the chandelier was shaking. Oh my god! And so we had a pool in our backyard at the time, and that I don't remember the magnitude of that one. It was I would hefty. assume it, it had to be in high fives. Yeah, it, the water in the pool was sloshing so bad that it was like coming. It, like, luckily we had a little half step into the house; otherwise, it would have come through the screen door. Yeah. Like, our backyard was like flooding from That's the pool so water nuts. and it was long and it rolled. So if you don't know, there's several different types of earthquakes, but like generally you either get like a little shaky one, which is totally what we had in New York. It's yep. like a, like it feels like you're just like rattling or there's roll the ones rolling where it's ones waves. are the scariest. And that one was a roll one. I felt it. I felt like I, I was going like this. Yep. And like, that's what the water was doing too. Like, yeah. And Those it, are the scariest. Oh, have you ever watched that earthquake simulation? No. I talk about it too much. Huh? No, no. <laughs> you kind of, you, you, I do. The second time you've talked about it in the past like week. Yes. I, I'm fine with that. Repeat yourself as much as you need. Okay. But no, I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> okay. I for those of you who are like out. interested in this type of shit and won't get, cause it's fucking terrifying. There is a website and I think it's like a dot gov. Like it's a scientific. Oh, look while you talk. It's a scientific website where you can go and s- like see a simulation of what quote the big one will actually, you could type in an <sighs> address and you could see what the big one will do to that area and like how the, the rolling and the shaking will affect the area. Yep. Here it is. You find it. Yeah. Iris.edu earthquake simulator. You can adjust the length it, it even says longest like it, uh when you adjust the length that tell it gives you like references so if i put it up to here which is 430 kilometers it's also known as how long the 1906 was yeah so like yeah ooh, i hate this i love it it's so interesting the and if depth, this is how i go out whatever I you just know hope it's quick i just don't want to get stuck yeah i can't talk about it if you're interested I highly suggest it. I remember learning about earthquakes and earth science, and that was cool. Tectonic it's, plates. Yeah, it's super fascinating to it me. It is. And I love that. Well, I don't love it. That's a weird way to put the sentence. But <laughs> I love it. I think it's quite interesting that we obviously will learn about like every natural disaster that could possibly arise. But we just know so much about earthquakes because they happened where we grew up. And then the people who like think about hurricanes and I don't know nothing about a like hurricane. tornadoes seem so foreign to me. I, I just think of what is that movie? Tornado. Wizard of Oz. Oh, there's also a movie called Tornadoes. Pretty the, crazy. Yeah. I don't I don't like natural disaster movies. The Wizard of Oz is as much as far as I'll go. Yeah. Like the one. What's the uh, one? The day after tomorrow or whatever. That one's crazy. Nope. What's the one with The Rock? Naomi Watts, The Impossible. The Impossible? Oh my god, it's What's so that? fucking good. What's it? Like read the synopsis. I think it's a tsunami. Do you want me to read the Ooh. like full synopsis? Is it super long? No, but yeah, I can read go it. Ahead. In December 2004, a close-knit family, is this a true story? <gasps> I don't know. Please don't quote me, but go watch this movie. In December 2004, a close-knit family, Mariah, Na- Naomi Watts, and Henry, and their three sons begin their winter vacation in Thailand. But the day after Christmas, the idyllic holiday turns into an incomprehensible nightmare when a terrifying roar rises from the depths of the sea, followed by a wall of black water that devours everything in its path. Mariah or Maria, I'm sorry, and her family face their darkest hour, unexpected displays of kindness and courage. I don't know what that word is. Like, get rid of their terror. That's, like, my biggest fear. Big water? Yeah. I already hate water. Well, it's a... I, the, uh, yes. Tsunami. Wave. Tsunami. Big yeah. Wave. Okay. Yeah. T-S-U-N-M-A-I. And they show it. And they show it. No. I'm not going to watch that. We should watch it. No. You also... You know what? I was really proud of you, and I think about this often. The day that we watched um, 47 Meters Down. <laughs> that movie's so good. That movie... <laughs> freaked me out so bad like that is my hell (laughs) that like there's actually no worse situation I'd rather be in a narcissistic relationship for the rest of my life (laughs) than be be 47 meters down that breaks (gasps) have you seen the one the um 
uh, with Owen Wilson and his family. Yes, that was that good. One, that's so good. But that one's woo, If you want to sweat and like it have was a such, panic attack. We watched attack, it together, right? Did we watch I've that? seen it so many times probably. Okay. That's one where I'm like, ooh, let's watch. Because it's, it's so nuts. But it's like, I think now that I know the ending, I'm like, okay, I could, I could watch this again and again. And I think I would, it was just crazy that it was an Owen Wilson movie. Like he's, I wasn't. He's great, he's great he in it. Great. But I was just so not expecting it to go that wow. way. Wow. 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 Look at that. That was good. Wow. That was that really, was really good. <laughs> Speaking of tsunamis, mm. um, when I was in Thailand, there was, uh, I was in Phuket and there was a, it was, it was nothing super serious, but there was like a tsunami watch. A war- yeah. It was like a watch warning and like the alarm went off. Scary. Like in the town. No, that would fuck me up. It, it did. But luckily, our Airbnb was, we were in the hills. Got it. So, like, we were safe. But it was telling the people, like, down uh, by on the, the coast, coast, like, consider Ugh. moving up a little bit. It was scary. Ugh. Thailand was, like, that whole trip. I mean, I'd, I'm super open to going back because, like, I understand that was definitely just, like, circumstantial. But that trip was scary. Yeah. There was a lot of things in that trip that, like, ooh, it freaked me out. Yeah. It really took weird a toll. trip. It was a weird trip. I don't think I've had any weird trips like that. That's good. I got sick. My leg got caught in a rope. There was a tsunami warning. A giant spider was in my suitcase. Like it felt like a movie. Yeah. Just like one bad thing after the other. Yep. Diary on the plane ride home. Yikes. 22 hour plane ride. What do you do? You just keep going to the bathroom and just then keep people going. know what's happening. Yeah, it's okay. You're embarrassed. It's okay. Was it you and Scott like taking turns yes. going to the bathroom? Yes. <laughs> Have I ever told you about the time um, when me and my family went to Florida? I was probably seven. We had all gotten the flu the week prior and my mom was like, she wasn't getting sick and she was like, okay, maybe I just won't get it. I won't catch it. Uh, the day we were supposed to leave or the day we did leave for f- that flight to Florida, she ha- like got the stomach flu and she was like, we're going. Like we have this whole week long trip planned for uh, Disney World. Uh, and she was on the flight throwing up the whole time. That's the actually whole flight, so sad. The whole flight there. The She's Bay super. To Florida, that's six hours at least like, yep oh it was bad and we had all like gotten over our sickness so, so we were like, like on the go. up and it oh hit her the day God. we left was she fucked the whole trip i don't remember was i don't she, i like think it was one of those 24 hour, hour flus those yeah can handle. yeah i'm on one of those but a on a flight oh yeah no I, if i'm not like 100 percent health for my flight if i can i'm i'm extending moving it. i'm moving it as yeah. much as possible even a head cold on a flight is torture like yeah. absolute torture yeah i just i honestly if i am well enough to take a drumamine and pass out like then out. i'll be fine yeah but i couldn't imagine i don't get the stomach bug often what's the last knock time on you wood. Was, yeah shit dry, knock on drywall i don't have anything wood next to me. maybe our door frame my dad used to do this yeah i do this in the <laughs> worst case um i don't remember the last time either I would probably like, honestly, at Tyrone, I remember that house having it on the floor. I think yeah. that was probably the last time. It was like a 24 hour bug, though. Like, Ugh. what an embarrassing thing to get. Yeah. You got a tummy ache. I got a tummy ache for 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> me already, though. Like, right. But the throwing up. The throwing I, I don't, up. I don't, is, I don't throw up like that. Oh, throwing up makes me cry. It takes a lot for me to throw up. Yeah. And even me with stomach discomfort yeah, constantly. Interesting. It goes out the other way. Oh, see, I'm a thrower upper. I'm not I'm much a of a poop, shitter. Poo-pooer. I'm a shitter. Yeah, you're a shitter. I'm a thrower upper. It like tracks. That's why we're friends. Yeah. In one out the other. <laughs> Better out than in. That's what I say. What are we even talking about? You're just chit chatting. You're just chit chatting. Enough about natural disasters. God bless. For our next topic. <laughs> um yeah we we're have doing some, some exciting stuff we're just doing something super fun tomorrow that we've kind of been wanting to do since we moved here we've been wanting to do a photo shoot for advice and just kind of do something in new york like we yeah. the first shoot that we did here we kind of just like walked around Times square we did like the stereotypical new york shit which right it had its moment it definitely like it, it was lived, cute for it, sure we had just moved here like it was so fitting for like 
right. an announcement. And I think it'll just be fun for like me and you to, we have like a full, we're renting out a set basically and we have like a full concept and it's, we have outfits and stuff mm-hmm. and it's just going to be fun for me and you to like get in a place and take photos together. Yes. We, in general, ne- I thought this about your birthday. I'm so pissed. We don't have any pictures I thought together. The same thing. All I have is like that picture I took on the table with the cake. But I will say I haven't looked through my digital and remember. Oh. Yeah, no, I think it, I think, oh. I think I'm, <laughs> I'm scared too. Maybe you should. <laughs> Keep that away. Yeah. Keep that the end. Should we? Do you think there's something on it? I don't know. It's fine. It's a safe place. We'll look after this. We'll look but after I'm this. I'll, you could. You have to look. I'll look. <laughs> I'm super. It buttholes. I haven't looked because I think it's giving me like anxiety to look. It. I'll look. Yeah, you look. look. But there's got to be something on there. But I was thinking like we didn't get one photo together. I know. We don't I take know. any photos together. So if and, we like, have to outfits? book a photo shoot for right. us. Right. <laughs> That's, for us to take photos together so be that it is the reality so be it it's, it's been so fun to plan this shoot though like yeah. I, I definitely every time we plan shoots together i realize like i remember how good we are at it yeah we like we really and we just we really, really do have a vision we have the same vision always all the time but like <laughs> it's even like the styling thing like we, there was a split point where we were like should we hire a stylist and like no like yeah. we I think we, it would make our lives easier. Every shoot we've ever done, and they've all been so good, so fucking good. And yesterday, me and Kristen, we we I grabbed like everything out of my closet that I thought obviously I would be wearing at the shoot, and we kind of just like threw everything out on your bed. Yeah, tried on multiple outfits. Like, okay, this would look good with this outfit. This would look good with yours. And we like really figured out complete looks yes. between us with shit that we had. We like we ordered like five things yeah. online. A, a, lot, a lot of the things I ordered, I'm returning because I actually didn't end up liking them. Right. And I'm just using things that I already have in my closet. I'm still pissed about that one order that didn't get here in time. Yeah. We ordered from Princess Polly. Yeah. And we, we ordered got it Wednesday. Wednesday. We got expedited shipping for overnight 20 bucks. Overnight shipping. Oh yeah. Overnight. And today is Saturday and we still don't have it. No. And it's supposed to be getting here Monday, which is not overnight nope. from Wednesday to Monday. Like even I'm if, pissed. if we want to give it a business day, like, okay, so it went out Thursday, then it should have got here Friday. Yes. I just, it's I crazy. It's I, nuts. I, I, yeah, I definitely want to c- complain. I want that $20 back. That's what I want. They're probably not going to give it to us. Anyway, yeah, this shoot is going to be <laughs> really fun it's be and really, really good. cool. And you guys will be seeing it soon. Soon. Um, so get excited. I don't know. It's just like, it feels like a little bit of a rebirth, if exactly. you will. I, you know what? I think it is. I think it is too. I mean, it is. Yeah. We're doing something new in a new time. I made a mood board of my mood. <laughs> my Honestly, literally. It is. it is. This mood board. She showed it to me. This mood board is not so much of like what you want it's like what goals you and, have yeah i didn't go into it intending to do that i feel like when i did this last year i was grabbing photos of what i wanted my life to look like in the coming year this time i went in grabbing photos that like really resonated with me in the moment mm-hmm. and it just so happened that it turned out to it like built a photo a bit like a picture of what my life looks like now yeah. which tracks because i just i have even like over like New Year's when I set intentions for coming into the new year, I just wanted to dive deeper into everything that is kind of with me right now and yeah, things that I the goal. currently have. Practicing mindfulness. Yeah. And it, it was just really cool to sit there and visualize it. And it's just very pretty. All the colors are pretty and all the images are what I have, but like what I want to continue to have and things that are also, I know are coming. Yeah, exactly. And it just felt really good. I should do it. I, yeah, I highly encourage you to do it. I don't know what mine will look like right now. If I went off like what's in my head right now, (laughs) just see what comes to you. Don't go in it with any intention. I don't have an intention. I'm just, I can only imagine what's going to happen. What the fuck, where my brain's going to go. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow night. Like yeah. after our shoot, like come home. Lay in the decompress. bath, set up your little thing. Yeah. My little, little bath thing. Yeah. I need to get a new bath pillow. My back hurts from laying in the bath so much. Quit. I love baths. <sighs> it's so gross. It's not gross. You're sitting in your own filth. I, you rinse before. You always rinse before. Okay. I rinse before, then plug. Okay. Then Epsom salts, a lot of Epsom salts. Like, they, okay. People do just like a little like half cup scoop. Like you guys, I, every chiropractor I've gone to has said like, go 
heavy on the Epsom salts. Like put you like three cups in there. I think I want you to draw me a bath. So I know. Cause I don't no, Cause yes, I don't sir. No. <laughs> Anything else must. <laughs> no, because I don't think I'm doing it right. And I think you know how to really set it up. Yeah. Cause I, every time I get into it, I'm like, okay, what now? Well, like if you want to read or like, that's why I got that little, what is that? Book tray thing. Yeah. That tray thing. If I want to like journal or. Fuck, I could just sitting there on TikTok too. Like it doesn't yeah. have to be this like introspective woo woo boo boo bee boo thing. Yeah. Like you could also just sit and rot. But yeah. if you're just doing I it, I don't like when my fingers turn into raisins. I don't think. Well, keep your hands out. Naturally, my hands are out because either I'm reading on my phone or journaling. Right. And my feet go out because I always just like cross them and I put them up on like the ledge of the foot of the tub. Oh, that's just like naturally how I sit though. And then do you like set a vibe? Do you like do you like candles? You have that nice. I always light have a in candle. There little joint i haven't this been sp- our baths are small yeah that's why also why my feet are up i was gonna say i haven't been smoking okay <laughs> <laughs> well you cut me off oh i'm sorry so i was letting you know what i was gonna say okay i'm just i think i'm done forever no okay just for just a for bit. now i want to like cleanse and like sure like i said in the last episode not drink i don't think i want to smoke i haven't at least and i haven't craved it yeah like i think i just need to like be with my detox thoughts. detox a little yeah. bit you're detoxing rebirth if you will rebirth detox mondays rebirth re- detox realize 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 switch to birth <laughs> <laughs> tsunami <laughs> it's like connections yeah Ooh, have you played do you play connections no, i'm so bad at it on the new york times i'm so bad at it i i don't get it i get it i get what i'm supposed to be doing but i am so bad at it <sighs> Cause I, where I go, I think you're good at it. I think you could be good at it and you're just, you just don't want to deal. But where I go, like I'm like (laughs) words that like, what was the emoji one? I said, it was like things with that things with eyes in the sky or something. Yeah. But like, that's a valid thought. Like that's what is in tight. That's what makes it hard. Like that's why it's enticing is because there are so many different combinations and that's the point of the game is to get the right combination. But if I don't get it right and you only get four chances, then you're pissed. Then I lose. And yeah. I don't want to play if I yeah. lose. <laughs> right. That's what it's yeah. airy season. Come yeah. on. No, I get it. You just don't want to subject yourself to the possibility of that. Yeah. I have not I have enough going on. I don't need to <laughs> you have enough feel on your plate. About the New York Times Connections game is not on the list. That is not what I need to be doing. It's not going to help my self esteem at all if I just <laughs> don't get it. I'm good at work. Ooh, I have another. There's one called. My entire TikTok feed is just people playing these games. Yeah, it's even mine, so I can only imagine what yours is. Oh, and there's this one guy that does them. Let me get his name because look him up. I think I know who you're talking about. His handle is Rangsk, R-A-N-G-S-K. Oh, yep. He's like kind of hot. <laughs> like <laughs> he like big dick energy because of what he does. Yeah, and he just seems so sweet and like yeah, plays absolutely. a whole bunch of different word games. Um, he play he played this game called Between All. And it's one word and then a blank set and then another word. And you have to try and guess. You guess words. I don't know if I'm describing this correctly. No, I'm following. You guess words and then it'll say like, okay, the word comes after this word in the alphabet. So it'll bump it to the top. And then you guess another word and say it's on the other end of the spectrum. So now you have like a sandwich of words and you have to narrow down the sandwich to get the correct word based on the letters of the alphabet. Whoa. So if you guess a word that starts with D and then you guess a word that starts with R and that's your like two your breads window. of the sandwich, then you have to slowly narrow down and find the word. It's so have fun. Have you tried it? Oh, I, I play it every day. Is it a New York Times? No. It's just another thing? Yeah. How many chances do you have? Because it's 14. I th- I feel like this take me hundreds. It's so f- it's I need uh, to we'll pl- see I'll play it. I'll show you yeah, after. Yeah, maybe I need to see like the interface. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. It's, oh, I love it. She's such a gamer. I love it. I'm such this a gamer. Girl's such a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> Every time Kristen looks over at me, I'm just like playing a game. I play I'm constantly on a game on my phone. It looks like it like cuz when you when you're on your phone doing it, it looks like I, I shouldn't interrupt. Like it looks like <laughs> she's like in a text fight or something. Like it le- looks intense always. Yeah. So, but ever so often I'll be like, what are you doing? Like if I just want to like talk about what just happened in Vanderpump or something. Oh, I'm just playing my game. She'll turn it to either <laughs> your dots game or um, dominoes. Oh yeah. I'm me and my brother and my parents. I almost said, and my two parents, <laughs> um, we are constantly, we have dominoes 
with do you all, all of play us. together like, yeah you could play well, four? no oh it's me all of us play each other individually got it okay yeah so i constantly have three games that. of get the app i'd love to join wait my name if you guys want to add me oh my god you're about to get millions <laughs> the game is just called domino on the app or S singular on the app store yeah domino add me my name is <laughs> what is it bones breaker 95 <laughs> that is so good and then look at my picture oh this is so good <laughs> Bones Breaker 95. Yeah, so add me if you play dominoes because we could play. We should get some actual dominoes and run up a game. Let's I can't get some while we're out. I can't wait. Yes. I can't wait to play dominoes in Yosemite. Oh, I can't wait for Yosemite. I'm so excited for Yosemite. Oh, my God. We're going this summer, you guys. A week-long trick, tr trick. Trick. trip in Yosemite. And this is actually one of the trips where we will be unplugged. Yes. Like, I go on this trip and I tuck my phone into my luggage in my tent and it stays there for seven like, days straight. Yes, we we don't go on it. This trip is something Alex's family does every year for decades now. And it's a really big, great group of people, like really big group of people. I think there's 114 of us this year. It's a lot. And I've been twice. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So the, but the last time I went, we were 12. So I can't I believe it's been that long. I know. I haven't been on this, this big trip since oh, 2007. It's going to be so fun. It's a, how many years ago is that? It's a long 13 time. 13 years. 13, it's been 13 years. Holy shit. I'm so excited. And there, every night there's a theme night and like there's activities every day. Hikes. And, and my boyfriend's coming. It's like summer camp. Oh, it's summer camp. It is. And his birthday falls right in the middle. Oh, yeah. So one of the nights. So it's going like to be celebrate. a big birthday celebration. Oh. oh, and now that we obviously like I've been going since I was four years old. Yeah. And to see the progression of like I was the kid. And then yeah. I was like the teenager who like didn't want to hang out with the parents. And we'd go on our own bike rides and stuff. Yep. And then when you turn 21 start drinking with all the adults yeah you start drinking and now it's like it's just all drinking games uh, yeah. i will never forget the year that i went up with chris and biggie mm -hmm. and we brought my little bmw the trunk was it was <laughs> it was the year that white claws like yes, came out yes we went up with probably like 300 white claws it's and we're out night. by wednesday yeah the the way these people drink white claws oh my is God. Like something like you've never seen so, before it, it like, will it's be a sport studied. It's a sport. It's insane. We have to bring so many decks of cards. Yeah. Like, oh, it's going to be so fun. We're going to be tan. And like, I remember last time we went, granted, I was 12. So I had pubescent acne. But I remember my skin got really yeah, clear. Because you don't look at mirrors and you don't pick. You don't pick at your skin. And you're just in like this fresh water every yeah. day. Like no makeup, obviously. Like, Oh, I'm so I'm excited. I'm so excited. That's just, July. We're going July. <laughs> july and then now we're just telling you guys the rest of our year <laughs> august um i'm gonna go back to the bay because my grandpa's turning 80 oh oh that's yeah, a big crazy. one. Oh my god that's so exciting and my dad's gonna come to town oh so i want to he said he'll be out there for like two weeks so i don't know if i'll go that long because that's just kind of long for me but yeah. i definitely want to make it like yeah a long enough trip to spend some time with him and then october we're going to hawaii hawaii Oh, I'm so we excited. Are just, for, we're jet setters. Jet setters this year. We're jet setters this year. I'm all out of PTO. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I bet. I am all out of PTO. Are you allowed, like, is she cool, your boss? Like, if you didn't have any more left, would she still let you go? Just, well, like, I would unpaid? just I would just bring my laptop. That's true. Yeah. I guess you Theoretically, just, I could bring my laptop to, to Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah, I you're won't. closer to their time zone. Well, they're, Hawaii's, I think, three hours earlier so it would be oh. like a 5 a.m to 2 p Ooh, yeah never mind yeah i mean earlier, i theor i theoretically theoretically could do it but i just won't yeah i have enough for the trips that i have planned but like yep anything else no risky business yeah we were even saying god should we go to coachella it's literally this week you it's guys we said if it works out and like something crazy something happens with like we have we know people who, a couple people who are there so if they happen to have like an extra room or, or like literally a couch yeah like, i'll sleep anywhere exactly if something crazy whips itself out and presents itself we'll do it 
What about weekend two? Are you open to weekend two? Can we? Yeah. I think I would be more willing with weekend two. I like weekend two more. Should we do weekend two? Yeah. If we can. (laughs) I think we can. Okay. Yeah. I think we can. If anything. Like it would. Yeah. Yeah. I like weekend two better than next weekend, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you might see us at Coachella. Yeah, who knows? I don't fucking know. I just want to... Shot in the dark. I just want to travel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to go to Europe again this summer, too. I don't know when. <laughs> I don't know when you got a lot on your in. plate. I have a lot going on. <laughs> we also didn't even mention that we... I think we might have said this, but a lot of our friends are coming out for GovBall. I'm so excited for GovBall, too. Oh, I'm yes. so excited. We're going to have a full fucking house. We have one, two, three, like four, nine. five, nine. Isn't it Nine. I thought it was five people people staying with us. So me, you, obviously. I'm just thinking humans in the house. Okay. So you're adding us in there. The twins. Yeah. Chris, Leanna, Lily. Yeah. Tristan. Tristan. I think that's, I I think, I don't know. We got to call him. Yeah. That's eight. And then us. Oh, you already counted us. us. Roughly eight. In this apartment? In this economy? In this political climate? In this political climate? We got to get some um, Air air mattresses. I'm sorry, guys. We're rambling at this point. I know. Point. This is really bad. But this is fine. I mean, I'm having a good time. I'm having a great like, time. This is, I don't know. We just, we just wanted to like sit and chat with you guys. We felt like last week was, it was, it was heavy. It was, it was heavy for, yeah. I mean, obvious reasons. And we always love like you guys being with us through the heavy shit. And then I feel like energy has been like up these past couple days. I'm pushing mm, good i and i see it i think I'm that's trying. what i i think that's what i mean yeah like, i wouldn't say i feel different no and like I'm that's trying that would be even more alarming right if, if I was, you were just I'm like, fine i'm better yeah but no and i I'm i trying. see that you're trying thank you yeah of course i really am i'm just like i don't know i get to a point when i get so deep in my depression where i'm like well something's gotta give yeah. You know, like where you just like look in the mirror and you're like, I can't fucking live this way. Like I'm just trying to. And if stay positive, I don't know if this is the white right way to go about this. But if the one thing that you can control right now is you trying, then like do that. Yep. That's, you know, that's what I'm thinking, too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm also just trying not to think too much, too. Like I'm yeah. I'm trying to. That's natural. Not dive in to every thought that crosses my head and rather just like let it be a thought yeah which is like that's That's a balancing act in itself yeah yeah just wanted something a little bit lighter this week and felt good just like sit down and chat with you guys and yeah i feel like even just in this past week like we're saying in the start of the episode like the energy has been a lot and we can't be the only ones to feel it so we figured i i can already see the comments i already know people are gonna relate to a lot of the shit we said and yeah yeah, and the solar eclipse, you guys, if you if it's in your area, if you're on the East Coast, somewhere where you're going to be able to see it, like go get the glasses. I know a lot of uh, like public libraries are passing them out for free. We're going to go grab ours right now and um, protect your eyes. Don't look at the eclipse because it's really bad. It'll burn your retina. It's this whole thing. Your eyes will just start like have you ever seen the show The Boys. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that'll happen on. to you. If you haven't seen that show, you should watch it. It's really good. Yeah. We actually have like five more episodes left yeah, of we it. We just never it. finished it. And that was like, wasn't that, did we watched that before we moved here, I think. No, it was here. Oh, we watched it here? Yeah. So, but like probably right when we had just moved. I will say my mom put this in our stocking stuffer. It's such a good lip this oil. This is the best lip oil I, I think it. I've ever had. And it's, she probably got it from like Marshall's. It's so good. No, I've shouted it out on this podcast before because it's so fucking good. It's so good. Um, but yeah, go uh, enjoy it. Go soak it up. I'm also going to be vlogging it for those of you that aren't going to be able to see it because I just feel like it's such a cool thing. It is. Like I'm, last time I s- remember seeing this was like when we were in school and I remember being on the blacktop and like everything going dark. Like it's just so fucking trippy. So yeah. enjoy it. Uh, soak it up or don't if you don't care at all. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you don't know, we have a Patreon so for this week's episode, we're going to just make it general advice. You guys can DM us there on Patreon. Anything you're going through, literally anything under the sun, just let us know if you want to be anonymous. Did you watch the eclipse? Let us know, let us how, know it how it was. was. Did you, were the birds going crazy around you? Ooh, like what? Bet they were. I was reading about what some of the animals do, you guys. Like this is some serious shit. Oh, it's crazy. And the, the cicadas that are coming yes. from underground for the first that time in like there 300 years or something. Something like that. 
Oh yeah, I I don't want to be anywhere around when that happens. You like, I don't I'm, think it's. I don't, I don't think it'll be here. I'm pi- I'm picturing it so literal, where yeah. like it goes and we just hear like. like <laughs> I I mean yeah. Have you seen like the cicada migration migrations yes. or whatever when they like cover the houses and shit? I can't. That's what I'm scared's no, gonna no, happen. No, 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 no. If you guys are listening on Spotify or Apple Music, rate us five stars and please. leave a cute little review because we would love that and would really appreciate please, it. Please, please. And if you are watching on YouTube, leave a little comment and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you know when we drop episodes, which is every Monday. Every Monday, same place, same time. Mm-hmm. Yeehaw. We'll be here. I'll be there for you. Also, follow us on socials if you don't already because you'll see... These cool pictures oh, yeah. that we're going to take. Just saying. Just saying. Um, Oddvice podcast. AlexCoat.jpg. Kristen McAtee. McAtee. Alex. Should we write a song? <laughs> <laughs> we got to go. Okay. I got to go. Love you guys. Get my glasses. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.